I need an honest opinion. Do you think that Free Willy made us too trusting of killer whales? Because I do. <laughs> I, I never thought of it that yeah. way. I don't know if it was Free Willy or SeaWorld. <laughs> like, Shamu. Yeah. It's like Shamu can jump up, go through a hoop, and then, like, serve you coffee. So, I mean, that seems pretty trusting. <laughs> yeah. Until you see the videos of them, like, snatching seals off of the beach. Yeah. Which I know they have to do to eat, but I'm not a big fan of Circle of Life. Sure. But these whales are sweet and wonderful and lovely. California greys are a wonderful species. Very wonderful. As I was watching it, I kept thinking about what must have happened when you were shooting E.T. Because it's the same sort of thing. There's this thing that's anthropomorphized and you get to have this wonderful connection with it. Yeah. And, and we're there in the same room together, which I appreciate rather than, you know, it being CGI and you're not exactly having sort of that tactile, wonderful, connective experience that you would want to. I like to get lost in it, and I don't want to pretend. I just want to sort of, you know, be in the moment. Totally. I well, mean, I know it is pretending. I know that sounds crazy, but I'm crazy. No, not at all. <laughs> I had never worked with anything like that. And it's like, you know, to see something that big and so well made, and they, those guys did such a great job. These guys from Australia were amazing. And, you know, even the way they came out of the water and went back down, it was all really, really amazing. And then for acting scenes, you know, having them go off in the back of the scene was incredible. But I've always said the worst thing in the world is to be cold and wet. Yeah. These are not easy conditions to shoot a film in. No. It's kind of my idea of hell. <laughs> <laughs> so you were in Palm Springs when you first got the script, so you're already, like, warm and happy. You I couldn't was. Have thought, oh, this is going to be nice and cozy. I know, and I'm <laughs> really wimpy about the cold, too. Like, I'm a California girl through and through. But <laughs> I, I guess that's sort of a perfect example of the power of, you know, a great story. I was so in love with it that I just thought I, I would rather be really, really, really cold than not do this, and I'm going to go fight for it. Yeah. And, and that's a big testament, because I hate being cold. Well, yeah. that also speaks to Ken Quapis, who randomly I used to be the chef for. What? I know. I can tell you all kinds of things he likes, like chickpea salad. That's crazy. But... I love Ken Quapis. I know you do. You've worked, in, you've worked with them. You both. Yeah. We are both Ken Quapis alumni. Yeah. You are. <laughs> yeah. So when you see his name on something, instantly you go, yes, I can trust this. He gets the heart of things really, really well. I mean, we owe him... Uh, a great debt of gratitude for The Office. You know, I mean, he was the first director on the show. He directed the pilot, which I don't know if everybody knows, but directing the pilot sort of sets the tone for the entire show. So we would do things like um, before we started shooting, we'd have 45 minutes of just silent pretending to work. And he would film you pretending to work in The Office to give you that sort of like mental preparation and also get some good footage of B-roll. But it's that attention to detail that he's not just barging in and saying, let's shoot a show. It's like, no, 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 let's get in this world. That's, you know, he's, he's the real deal. He, he is such a performance-oriented director, too, and I just love that. Like, I love a good idea, and I just want to go and implement it like a little eager soldier. So when he would come up to me and be like, less, I would be like, <laughs> yes, what can I do? I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. do it. Or, if I would come up and be like, so this is like the end of the movie and, you know, maybe she's like happy because, you know, things are going, her, you know, it's it's happening. And he's like, no, I, I think like she's sort of like, this is business as usual. Like, life must go on and there are more like things to do. And, you know, this is by no means like the end. This is, you know, this is another day of more hard work. And I was like, you're so right. Why did I go to <laughs> such a cheesy, like... You know, typical place. Well, I, yes, excuse me, I'll go do that. He's just brilliant.